Okay, here we are live with the winner of the first ever Sin Crude Grand Slam of Curling Elite 10, Mr. McEwen. I get to interview all the winners here. I feel like I see you now more than you see your wife. <laughs> uh, that's kind of strange, Pete. Yeah. It's un unfortunate <laughs> for you, but uh, Don coming off a tough loss in the World Final last night. This has got to make it uh, feel a little bit better. That's a great win out there today. Yeah, you know, I was super proud of that team. They're, you know, they ground so hard to to make that game close. Um, so really proud of them. And uh, yeah, on the, on the flip side, we had an amazing week and we're able to finish it off here. So this was a lot of fun. Now there's some rumors going around on the internet that you guys don't win uh, many games after Christmas. <laughs> but by my count now, I think you're about 14 and one your last 15 games, something like that, 12 and one. Uh, how do you respond to that? Yeah, actually, the old bear, Kmart, he threw us under the bus so we can't win after Christmas. And then he actually picked us to win this event. Yeah, so. the old bear, he, uh, a little contradictory there, but uh, I think uh, yeah. this win should probably prove that uh, you guys are capable of winning uh, winning games in uh, post-Christmas. Finally, we can win post-Christmas, yeah. I, I, I guess we sucked before. I thought it was just February. I figured we just sucked in February, and but March, April, we're pretty good again, so... Yeah, aside from that little tiny bond spiel in Manitoba that you finished runner-up, but uh, a great way for you to bounce bike back, Mike. Uh, congratulations on your win, and keep building up our uh, combined poker gambling account. <laughs> Thanks, Petey. As long as I make all the decisions and you just uh, you just monitor. Play to your strengths, buddy. I'll see you in Toronto. Thanks very much, Pete.